Have you ever wondered how could your cell phone's touchscreen work? Or how electronics behind the touchpad make this invention so awesome to use? So in this tutorial we're showing you step by step how to make your own touch off, touch on, capacitive sensor. So let's do this! The circuit we're going to build has four sections. The capacitive amplifier, the one second trigger, the on off T latch, and the output amplifier for external applications. Now the question is, how does it work? When someone touches a conductive pad, some electrostatic energy goes to the first block. This electrostatic energy will get amplified and will go to the second block. When a static energy is detected, a 3 volt will be released for 1 second. If a voltage is detected by the third block, the output change state. It will go off if it was previously on. or on if it was previously off, and so on. For the purpose of this tutorial, you will need these components. If you'd like to buy them all in once, you could always go to diyordie.co slash product. Let's start with the capacitive amplifier. Connect the black USB cable to negative and the red USB cable to positive. Make yourself a conductive pad. Connect the pad to the breadboard. Add a 0.1 microfarad capacitor in series. Connect the middle pin of the 2N2222 to the capacitor. The emitter will go to ground. The collector will go to ground via a 100K resistor. A 100K pot will go between the last and the middle pin of the transistor. We are now going to build the 1 second trigger. Place the 555 timer chip. The 2N2222 collector is connected with pin 2 of the 555. Power on the timer chip. Pin 4 is grounded. Pin 5 is connected to ground via a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Pin 6 and 7 are together. Pin 7 goes to a 100K resistor which go to positive. Connect pin 6 to a 10 microfarad capacitor. And the negative pin of the capacitor goes to ground. Let's make the on off D latch block. Add the 7474 DLH to the circuit. Power it on. Both pins 3 of the 555 and the 7474 are connected together. Pin 1 is positive and pin 3 goes to positive via a 10K resistor. Pin 4 is positive. Pin 2 and pin 6 are connected together. We are now building the output amplifier. Connect pin 5 to the base of the 2N2222 via a 180 ohm resistor. The collector of the transistor is positive. Place an LED on the last pin of the transistor. Connect the other pin of the LED to a grounded 330 ohm resistor. Place a 5 volt relay and connect it to the collector. Add a diode in reverse between the two solenoid relay pins. Connect the last relay pin to ground. Extend wires from the relays normally open switch. Now let's test the circuit. Connect the USB cable to a charger. You should now be able to turn the LED on and off by touching the pads you made. Now let's extend the circuit by adding a room light to the relay's switch. When the pad is touched, the light will go on. If the pad is touched again, the light will go off. Warning! Don't kill yourself. Please.
never touch the relay's extended wires unless you wanna die. Thanks for watching everyone, if you enjoyed the video give us a big thumbs up and as always subscribe for more.